Hi everybody, and welcome to this week's lesson of What I'd Say by Ray Charles. A classic, very good exercise for your left hand, and also a very good example of how to use patterns on three simple blues chords. Okay, so let's take a look at the end result first. Okay, so it's a blues E, A, B here. And let's take a look at the left hand first. An E, a B, a D, and an E. Then to the A, E, G, A, and back to E, B, D. You play that two times and then go to a B, so the five, and then two and a half sharp, an A and a B, an A, E, G, A. These are all played once, and then you start over again. Okay, so this left hand is also the intro to the song. It just starts with this bass line. All the way up to A, back to E, then to B, to A, and to E. And then the right hand comes in. Okay, let's focus on that one. This is pretty difficult to play. It's an E inverted like this and like this. So that's an E chord. I use thumb, middle finger, pinky. And then that's the pattern. So play the whole chord, a B, a D. So that's a seven, you see? It's actually these notes we're using. Whole chord, B, D, and then the whole chord again there. In combination with the left hand, this is pretty, pretty difficult, but pay close attention. That's it. Slowly. Oh, sorry. That's it. Again. Pay attention to where that note is timed, eh? the low E. Slowly again. Oh, sorry. The whole thing up to speed. Then to the A. B C sharp E G. That's an this is a regular A chord. Then we add the seventh on top and the nine here. And then leave out the A because that's already played in the left hand. Pattern is actually quite the same, but now with these notes. Together, together, and right, left. You see, it's actually timing wise, it's the same thing. Back to E, same thing, then to the B, uh, let me first show you what chord here, it's a B and then a 7 is on top, so 
So again the same pattern, together, right, left. And then that lick comes like this, a flam note. I use my index and middle finger. A, B flat, B, D, E, and then down. Here I'll show you again how this, how this comes from that B. So, oh, sorry. And then you land on the E. Let me play it all slowly one more time. Oh, this would be an option if you find it too difficult here to play the whole chord. You could also just take the bottom two here on these on this E, just to practice those. You could start with this. Here, no, here it doesn't work. You have to. So that's it. As you see, it's quite challenging to play the right hand and the left hand together. I know that's difficult. It's just a matter of practice, practice, practice. First, make sure you know the left hand and can play it with your eyes closed while thinking about something completely different. That has to go almost like an automatic thing. And then add the right hand. Don't forget to first play it very, very slowly and increase with very small steps to a higher tempo until you reach the regular tempo. Okay, uh, thanks again for watching. Please, if you like the video, hit like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next week. Okay, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.